Jean Charles Pichegru, the 16th of February 1761 to the 5th of April 1804, was a distinguished French general of the Revolutionary Wars. Under his command, French troops overran Belgium and the Netherlands before fighting on the Rhine front. His royalist positions led to his loss of power and imprisonment in Cayenne, French Guiana during the coup of 18 Fructidor in 1797. After escaping into exile in London and joining the staff of Alexander Korsakov, he returned to France and planned the Pichegru conspiracy to remove Napoleon from power, which led to his arrest and death. Despite his defection, his surname is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe, on column 3. <laughs> Early life and career Pichegru was born in a peasant family at Arbois or, according to Charles Nodier, at Les Planches Pres Arbois, near lons le saulnier in the then Francia Comte now in the Jura Department of France. The friars of Arbois were entrusted with his education, and sent him to the military school of Brienne-le-Château. There, he taught mathematics, and among his pupils was the young Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1783, he entered the 1st Regiment of Artillery, where he rapidly rose to the rank of Adjutant Second Lieutenant, and briefly served in the American Revolutionary War. When the revolution erupted in 1789, he became leader of the Jacobin Club in Boussançon, and, when a regiment of volunteers of the Department of the Guard marched through the city, he was elected Lieutenant Colonel. Rhine Front. The fine condition of his regiment was noticed in the French Revolutionary Army section of the Rhine, and his organizing ability got him appointed in the headquarters, and then promoted General de Brigade. In 1793, Lazare Carnot and Louis de Saint-Just were sent to find rotarier non-aristocratic generals who could prove successful see, campaigns of 1793 in the French Revolutionary Wars. Carnot discovered Jean-Baptiste Jordan, and Saint-Just discovered Louis Lazare Hotch and Pichegru. At first, Pichegru was appointed General de Division and Commander of the Division of the Upper Rhine. Appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Army of the Rhine, Pichegru attacked the coalition army of Dagobert Sigmund von Wormser in the Battle of Hagenau in 1793. Over a period of weeks the coalition forces were driven back step by step in bitter fighting. The intervention of the Army of the Moselle under Hotch at the Battle of Froschwiller in late December finally caused Wormser to abandon Alsace. For the Second Battle of Wissemberg, Pichegru was placed under the command of Hotch, who proved to be a difficult superior. Nevertheless, the French again won the battle, compelling Wormser to retreat to the east bank of the Rhine and the Prussian army to withdraw toward Mainz. <laughs> Northern Front In December 1793, Hotch was arrested, probably owing to his colleagues' denunciations, and Pichegru became commander-in-chief of the Army of the Rhine and Moselle. He was summoned to succeed Jordan in the Army of the North in February 1794, subsequently fighting three major campaigns within the year. The forces of the Kingdom of Great Britain, the Dutch Republic and Habsburg Austria held a strong position along the Sambra to the North Sea. After attempting to break the Austrian centre, Pichegru suddenly turned their right, and defeated the Count of Clerfait at Castle, Menon and Courtrai, while his subordinate, Joseph Suham, defeated Prince Hosius of Coburg in the Battle of Torcoing in May 1794. After a lull, during which Pichegru feigned a siege of Ypres, he again attacked Clerfait, and defeated him at Rosalaire and Hugold, while Jordan, commanding the newly named army of Sambra et Meuse, withstood Austrian attacks in the Battle of Fleurus June 1794, which eventually led to Allied evacuation of the Low Countries. Pichegru began his second campaign by crossing the Meuse on 18 October, and, after taking Nijmegen, drove the Austrians beyond the Rhine. The Anglo-Hanoverian army withdrew behind the wall. Then, while Pichegru's troops prepared to go into winter quarters, the convention ordered the Army of the North to mount a winter campaign. On 27 December two brigades crossed the Meuse on the ice, and stormed the Bommelervard. On 10 January Pichegru's army crossed the ice of the wall between Zaltbommel and Nijmegen, then, on 13 January, entered Utrecht, which surrendered on 16. The Anglo-Hanoverian army retreated behind the ISIL and then withdrew to Hanover and Bremen. 
Pichegru, who had successfully penetrated the frozen Hollandic water line, arrived in Amsterdam on 20 January, after the Batavian Revolution had taken place. The French occupied the rest of the Dutch Republic in the next month. This major victory was marked by unique episodes, such as the capture of the Dutch fleet at Den Elder by French hussars, and exceptional discipline of the French battalions in Amsterdam, who, although faced with the opportunity of plundering the richest city in Europe, showed self-restraint. Thermidor and Directory Although a former associate of Saint Just, Pichegru offered his services to the Thermidorian reaction, and, after having received the title of Sauveur de la Patrie Savior of the Fatherland, from the National Convention, subdued the sans culottes of Paris, when they rose in insurrection against the convention on 12 Germinal the 1st of April. Pichegru then took command of the armies of the North, the Sambra and Meuse, and the Rhine, and, crossing the Rhine in force, took Mannheim in May 1795. Going over to the Royalists Although he had become a hero of the Revolution, he allowed his colleague Jordan to be defeated, betrayed all his plans to the enemy, and took part in organizing a conspiracy for the return and crowning of Louis XVIII as King of France. The plans were suspected, and, when he offered his resignation to the Directory in October 1795, it was promptly accepted, much to his surprise. He retired in disgrace, but secured his election to the Council of 500 in May 1797 as a leader of the Royalists. <coughs> Coup attempts and death Pichegru planned a coup d'état during the coup of 18 Fructidor, but he was arrested and with 14 others was deported to Cayenne, French Guiana in 1797. He and seven others escaped and fled to Paramaribo. The governor de Friderici allowed them to get on board a ship to the United States. Shortly thereafter, he went to London where he joined thousands of Frenchmen who had left France in a mass movement in an effort to save themselves from the violence of the French Revolution. There, he served on General Alexander Rimsky-Korsakov's staff in the campaign of 1799. He went to Paris in August 1803 with Georges Cadoudal to head a royalist uprising against the first consul, Napoleon Bonaparte. Betrayed by a friend, Pichegru was arrested on 28 February 1804, and was later found strangled in prison. The government reported that he had committed suicide, but the report was widely thought to be false. Pichegru was buried in the Cimetière Saint Catherine, a Paris cemetery with its entrance in the former Rue de Fer, and which was closed in 1824. 